So I was just getting the camera set up when lo and behold, our new shed starts pulling up in front of the house. And I'm like, this is awesome. What really sucks about it was I saw three cameras out and only one of them actually worked for any length of time. The other two were terrible. Uh, one of them, I turned it on and it instantly shut off. The battery was dead. The one you see here in my hand, that's the only one that actually did much recording, but that is one shaky camera. Because of its size, it's really, really super hard to hold still. You can see me trying to give it a pistol grip to give it the still look, and it doesn't work out real well. It'll be shut down and shown in a couple other parts of the video later on. But this is Dollar Seed's new house, and it's being delivered right here, right now. Uh, this was this morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. We uh, bought this shed from uh, Backyard Outfitters. It's a special build. It's 14 feet wide by 32 feet long. The uh, initial build price was $700. And then they called and said they had to have another 351 to get started on building it. That was over a month ago. And I said, well, build it. So we give them the money. And uh, they got it built. And the total payoff, if we do it right here, right now, is another $10,238.60. So you can add that on to the 1051 we already paid, and that's the total cost of the shed. Uh, it's actually called the Lofted Log Cabin. I'm not crazy about the height of the loft. I wish it was a little bit taller, but it's okay. I'm not sleeping up there. I'm going to use it for storage, so that's fine with me. The truck that they're bringing us back in on is a Ford F E450 Super Duty. And the trailer that it's sitting on is just awesome. I thought when they were going to bring this in, they were going to bring like a the tractor trailer that you normally would have your like uh, roll-off dumpster on. And no, this thing is so far from that, it's not even funny. They can they can position the trailer left to right, forward to backward. Here I'm meeting Pete. He's the, he's the driver, and we were just pointing to Dave. He's the escort, the guy I've been talking to all the time. But this trailer that we're talking about is so awesome. They can move it forward, backward, left, right. They can almost spin the whole shed around if they need to with this trailer. And I just thought that was a, a really phenomenal thing that they had going on. Right now we're just working on trying to figure out how I want the shed and where I want the shed. And he's going to keep manipulating it until we get it right. bad part about it is they didn't put it exactly where I wanted it because I had a ditch already dug to run my electric in but now I'm going to have to dig more ditch in order to get to the shed because it didn't go back far enough but I like where it's at and I'm going to call it good enough I think it'll be awesome I got a lot of labor to do on the inside to insulate and run electrical and everything out so I guess a little bit of more ditch digging isn't going to hurt my feelings any though I did hire a backhoe to do it the first time well I wanted to hire a backhoe. They came in and did it for free, which is pretty special. Oh yeah, this is Dollar Seed's new house getting backed in right here. This is this is awesome. We're going from a 10 by 12 room where we couldn't hire any employees in this big building, and, and now we can. And believe it or not, <laughs> that business actually needs employees now. Leah and I have been busting our butt and sleeping little trying to keep up with the orders since COVID-19. Uh, it ain't been easy. some parts of this video I'm going to skip out on just because you know cut paste do this do that again we're just we're just figuring out the final placement where we, where we really want to try to get it set I told Dave the escort driver we're, we're down the road quite a ways here so there's another angle of it coming in I told the escort driver I said hey you're gonna be coming around a blind corner and the driveway is in that blind corner, so when you come in with your escort, you're going to need to stay back. And he's like, well, I'm driving the escort. That's good. When you get to the end of the uh, guardrail, where you start seeing trees after you pass the car dealership or repair shop, stop there. Let people know there's something going on up ahead. I'll put my yellow lights on on my truck. Let people know there's something coming in the opposite direction. But, yeah, these guys these guys are very professional. I was, I was very impressed with it. We did a good job leveling the driveway, so we had to use very little blocking, which was really impressive as well. And who would have thought that they would have used a regular farm jack to level the building? I, that blew me away. 
makes me want to go out and buy another farm jack now because I used to have one and those things can handle some a lot of weight and this thing is not a light boat by any means. It'll never blow away.